You know, there are some days I don't have time to worry about camera filters or the wind or the sun or anything else. Uh, this is one of those days. I'm out here at the shooting range today, but I'm not here to shoot for this video. I'm here to talk to gun owners all over this area and all over the country that I've heard from and am hearing something so different this time than so many other times in these crisis times that we've lived through, in times where there's a political threat to our rights, a political threat to our gun rights in particular, and what we have to all understand is that if we lose the right to use this, to hold, to keep, to use this, we lose all the other rights that go along with it. Gun owners that I'm hearing today, unlike in decades past where we've gone through time after time after time of political fighting and threats to our rights, what I'm hearing more now than the anger and the, and the ready to fight that I'm hearing that I've heard so many other times is I hear gun owners despairing. Despairing that they're coming to get our gun. What, what difference does it make? Who cares? Why don't we just forget it? Why don't we just, people, people that are throwing their hands up in the air and saying, just forget it. What, it's not worth even trying. We've all lived through a year just now, 2020, that has been the worst in American history as far as I know of. People started out dealing with COVID. Some people have lost loved ones, lost friends. The pandemic still rages around us. We had violence start uh, back months ago and that became violence for violence sake across the country. Then we have an election that has now become a threat to our rights and to America in general. With gun owners going, just forget it. No, I know I'm not talking to all of you. I know there are a bunch of you out there that are ready to fight. You're ready to put the gloves on. You're ready to do whatever you have to do to beat back this political threat, just like we've beat them back before. But there are a whole lot of people out there, a whole lot of gun owners that have to stop the despair. You don't have ammo. I, listen, listen, folks, I want you to understand what you are to me. Your presence is critical to me. Your presence is critical to every other gun owner in America because every individual that is a gun owner put together with all the other individuals makes the millions upon millions of people that own and carry these and understand that the Second Amendment is an inherent right that protects all the other rights that we have. So at this point, we can't have gun owners, we can't afford to have our gun owners, our brothers and sisters that own guns throwing their hands up and saying, forget it. It's been too hard, it's too hard to carry on and keep doing this. We might as well forget it, they're coming for our guns. No, we gotta fight it back, just like we have every time. And we've got to end up with these, after this is all over with, back in the holster where they belong, our ARs and our, in our houses and our homes and our trucks, wherever they need to go, we need to have them with us and we need to have the magazines and the capacity that we need to carry. Because we have to do the fighting that's necessary to beat back this Democrat administration and what's coming with it. And the fight will come. So I, what I'm telling you is, whoever you are out there, I need you. I can't survive this without you. Your other brothers and sisters that own and carry firearms and keep them for self-defense and are advocates for the Second Amendment cannot do without you. Every one of you that leaves the fight is like taking a brick out of a wall until that wall crumbles. We need every one of you in place. So you don't have ammo, I understand. I understand how bad it is. I understand how irritating it can be. I understand how depressing it can be. But I don't care if you have to shoot a BB gun or a pellet rifle or whatever you have to shoot. Find some way to get out in the open and do it and do it in front of people and show other people how to use them. That's right, BB gun, pellet guns, airsoft, whatever you have to shoot. Your presence is critical to me and to every other gun owner in America. So today what I'm here to do is just to encourage you don't throw your hands up and say forget it put on the gloves and get ready for the fight along with the rest of us when we band together there are tens of millions of us across this nation over 70 million that did not vote for the democratic administration that's coming in they're not going to be able to ignore that but they'll ignore it if we don't do anything but sit on our hands and despair while they take away our rights let's don't let this <laughs> let's don't let this happen Let's get together, let's join arms, let's get the gloves on and get ready to fight and push back this political threat just like we push back every other one. I'm Mark Rogers and I need you to join me and every other gun owner in America to gear up for the fight.
Take a deep breath, get your energy drink, lift your weights, and get ready to fight it. Because that's what we do, and we do it well when we do it together. I'm Mark Rogers, and I'll be talking to you again very, very soon.